Hello. Are you guys here for another Two Minute Tuesday? Let's go. Welcome back to another video. And today we are going to be talking about Italian Greyhounds. We are on the letter I. And if you're new here, my name is Carla and I've been doing this digital series on my channel digital series, I've been doing this series on my channel where I learn about different dog breeds and practice some digital painting. So if you like dogs and you like painting, then definitely stick around. And I'm just finding a quick reference photo for me to work on. And it took me a while to find this reference photo, but it's really cute. So let's go. Italian Greyhounds are an ancient breed that can be traced back to ancient Egypt and Rome. They were highly valued by the aristocracy and were often depicted in art and literature from that time period. During the Renaissance, Italian Greyhounds became popular in Italy and were often kept as lap dogs by wealthy families, and they were also used for hunting small games such as rabbits and hare. In the 17th and 18th century, Italian Greyhounds were brought to England and became popular with the nobility there as well, and they were often seen in portraits of the wealthy and were even mentioned in the works of Shakespeare. In the 19th century, Italian Greyhounds were crossed with other breeds such as Whippets and Terriers to create a smaller, more refined version of the breed, and this led to the development of the modern Italian Greyhound that we know today. Italian Greyhounds are recognized by the American Kennel Club, or the AKC, and other major kennel clubs around the world. They are classified as a toy breed and are known for their small size and weighing between 6 and 15 pounds. So this painting was really challenging because I just couldn't get the right colors on this dog. I don't know why I started with a gray and I thought it was gray. And then I realized that the reference photo is actually quite green. And so I started putting in a bit of like a grayish green, which helped a lot. But I went back and forth through this for hours before I could finally get it right. So pro tip is really look at your colors in your reference photo and just forget about what you think they should be and look at what they really are in the photo. So continuing on with our little small guys here, despite their small size, Italian Greyhounds are known for their speed and agility. They have often been used in lure coursing competitions where they chase a mechanical lure around a track. They are also great at agility competitions where they navigate obstacle courses with speed and precision. But that's not all. Italian Greyhounds are also known for their affectionate and loyal nature. They love to be around their owners and are often described as a Velcro dog because they love to stick close to their humans. They are also great with children and other pets, making them a great choice for families. Italian Greyhounds are a very intelligent breed and are known for their trainability and they are quick learners and respond well to positive reinforcement methods. They are also very sensitive to their owner's emotions and can become anxious or stressed if their owner is upset. My favorite part or characteristic about this dog is that they are known for their love of snuggling and cuddling. They like to be close to their owners and will often curl up in their laps or under blankets and they are also very playful and enjoy chasing toys and playing with other dogs. Overall, Italian Greyhounds are a wonderful breed with many great qualities. They are a bit of high energy though, so just make sure that you have plenty of time to spend with them. And yeah, this is the finished painting. As you can see, I changed the colors up a bit because it was looking way too gray and cartoonish. And this is more realistic and true to the reference photo, even though I feel like I could have worked on this for another three hours. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys on the next Two Minute Tuesday. Bye.